welcome to sst college of arts and commerce this is sst edupedia i am assistant professor deepa agrawal from itcs department in this video i am going to explain you the green computing topic e waste this topic is for fy bsc it semester 2 these are the contents introduction e waste and carbon footprint introduction as the terminology enhances interest of people moves towards using new devices and dumping the old ones disposal of these electronic devices is a big problem we can't directly dispose these devices because they are made up of several metal and some harmful chemicals the green computing addresses these issues with words reduce reuse and recycle reduce we should limit the number of purchases that we make in the first place so for example we might limit our household to a single computer reuse we should reuse items as much as possible before replacing them for example it generally makes more environmental sense to update our computer rather than get rid of it and buy a new one recycle we should ensure that items or their components are put to some new purpose so much as possible if our computer is not fit for reuse as is we can donate it to one of several organizations which will re uh, refurbish it or recycle its components now we'll see what is green computing the green computing is a scientific study of efficient and effective designing manufacturing using disposing and recycling of computers and computer related products like servers network system communication systems monitors usb printer etc the study uses science to create technologies that help to produce natural resources and reduce the harmful impact on the environment the goal of green computing very clear and simple reduction in the use of harmful materials maximizes energy efficiency and promotes recyclability green computing is commonly referred to as green it the idea is to ensure the least human impact on the environment e waste it is one of the fastest growing components of waste stream in the world e waste contain various hazardous substances which are harmful to environment as well as human health e waste is any electrical or electronic equipment that's been discarded this includes working and broken items that are thrown in the garbage or donated to a charity reseller like goodwill e waste is particularly dangerous due to toxic chemicals that naturally leach from the metal inside when buried these are the list of e waste items uh, home appliances like microwaves electronic cookers heaters fans etc and there are some communication and information technology devices like cell phones smartphones desktop computers computer monitors laptops circuit boards hard drives etc now these are the office and medical equipments like printers cords cables dialysis machines imaging equi uh, equipment phone audio and video equipment network hardware etc now we'll see hazardous elements in e waste when electronic waste break down they release mercury and other toxins the improper disposal of e waste may cause harm to environment because it has toxic and radiation substances within it toxic substances can include lead mercury cadmium or pcbs the lead is a part of computer monitors cathode ray tube up to 6% also the components such as capacitors transformers and pvc insulated wires of old production type contain pcbs which is very harmful for environment these above mentioned toxins are also not disposable or difficult or costly to dispose the bad effects of these toxins can be observed on soil 
plants, microorganism and animal. To avoid effects of these toxins, e-waste is handled separately from conventional garbage and recycling processes. Maximum of e-waste material is reused, renovated and redeployed. So very less amount of toxins are going into soil. Power consumption. Producing electrical energy these days is getting costlier and limited. All our desktop PC, uh, PCs, servers, switches and so forth use electricity to run. This electricity not only costs money but the utility has to generate the electricity. Quite often by using fossil fuels which generate more greenhouse gas emissions. So solution is there are solutions to avoid fossil fuels based resources of electricity and to save. So first is virtualization. The virtualization works on single machine instead of several servers. A special kinds of softwares are used in virtualization to run multiple servers on one physical machine which causes less consumption of power consumed. Generate it your own power. The problem can only be solved by moving to other clean and green options. Solar energy, biogas and wind energy are great motivators towards that. By using these options, we can save money on electrical bill as well as make a move toward carbon naturally. There are five principles for achieving a low waste society. Everything is connected. There is no away for waste. Polluters and the producer must pay for waste. Different categories of hazardous waste and recyclable waste should not be mixed, reuse, recycle and compose soil waste. The recycling process. The process of recycling e-waste material is very complicated. First the metals and plastic must be separated and then the circuit boards are shredded to separate the aluminium, iron and copper from the valuable precious metals such as silver. If not handled properly, uncontrolled burning, disassembly and disposal are causing environmental and health problems, including health effects among those who extract precious mat materials. E-waste pro e processing generally involves first dismantling the equipment into these different components, metal frames, power supplies, circuit boards and plastics. Now we'll see initiatives to reduce e-waste. The first is step that is solving the e-waste problem. Its main objectives are as follows. Optimizing the life cycle of electrical and electronic equipment by improving supply chain, closing material loops, reducing contamination, increasing the utilization of resources and the reuse equipment, exercising concern about disparities such as the digital uh, divide between industrializing and uh, industrialized countries, Increasing public, scientific and business knowledge. And last one is developing clear policy recommendations. The next is Basel Convention. The Basel Convention on the control of transboundary movements of hazardous waste and their disposal. Basel Convention is an international treaty designed to reduce the transport, uh, transportation of hazardous waste between nations, especially from developed to less developed country. Further, the convention deals with minimizing the amount and toxicity of generated waste. Third is the EFIT that, is, that stands for Electronic Product Environmental Assessment Tool. EFIT is a ranking system that helps purchasers in the public and private sectors. Evaluate, compare and select desktop computers, notebooks and monitors based on their environmental attributes. EPET evaluates products according to 51 specific criteria into three tiers of environmental performance that is bronze, silver and gold. Now we will see what is carbon footprint. A carbon 
footprint corresponds to the whole amount of greenhouse gases produced to directly and indirectly support a person's lifestyle and activities. Carbon footprints are usually measured in equivalent tons of carbon dioxide during the period of a year and they can be associated with an individual, an organization, a product or an event among others. Need of carbon footprint. Measuring carbon footprint is nothing but it another way to measure overall progress toward becoming green. It can help with numerous business goals such as helping company to improve its efficiencies, reducing costs, getting public recognition, maintain link in the supply chain and good impact on customer. Measure carbon footprint of the company. For measuring carbon footprint, we require to track lot of information such as facilities, operations, transportation, travel, purchases. To measure carbon footprint, following four steps are used. Define what all things contribute to carbon footprint. Baseline should be set. Track and analyze carbon footprint of organization and report the result to stakeholders. Thank you.